Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be working more with radical expressions and we're also going to be doing um, radical to fractional exponents. So um, let's start with these. So this is just um, basically, it's, it's kind of a pain, but um, you're going to be adding these two together and we've done this before together in class and then we're also going to be just adding on an extra part to this. Um, so it's nothing that you haven't seen before, but let's just get right to it. So, um, so once again, when we add these radical expressions, um, we want to split um, each of these fractional um, terms with the radical. We want to split them up into square root of 5 over square root of 2. Right? Um, and so I'll just do that. And then there's 3, and then it's root 2 over root 5 minus root 90. So with these now, um, that's the first step. And then after that, um, what we want to do is rationalize. So we want to multiply the top and the bottom to get rid of the um, radical on the bottom. We're going to multiply the top and the bottom by the root on the bottom. And we talked about before, you could, if this wasn't, you know, if this was a larger number, you could um, just try to think of what to multiply the top and the bottom by to get the first perfect square that you can get. Um, but this is so small that you end up just multiplying the top and the bottom by <clears throat> that same root. Um, so on this one, you multiply the top and the bottom by root 5 root 5, okay, and then um, we're going to get 3, and then when you multiply these two together, um, you actually can say it's the square root of 5 times 2, which is 10, and then root 2 times root 2 is root 4, and root 4 is 2. So you've just gotten rid of the root on the bottom, which is what we wanted to do. Now let's do this other one. 3 root, again, 2 times 5 is 10. And then on the bottom, root 5 times root 5 is root 25. And the root of 25 is 5. So now we've gotten rid of our square roots. Um, and I'll go ahead and just uh, work with this one too. On these, they're, again, they're just adding in just a little bit more work. Um, but you could split 90 into a perfect square times another number. They want you to basically simplify this. So think about, okay, what's the perfect square that goes into 90? The largest one you can think of. A 9 is the largest perfect square that goes into 90. And 90 is 9 times 10. So what you can do is split the square root of 90 up into square root of 9 times square root of 10. And then when you take the square root of 9, you get a 3. And root 10 can't be simplified anymore, so you just leave it under there. So now we've got all of those um, ready to go. The very last thing we have to do on this is get a common denominator. So uh, we're actually going to get a common denominator on all of these, and that way we can combine them all into one fraction. So the common denominator will be 10. So what we're going to do is multiply the top and the bottom of this by what would make the bottom 10. So 2 times 5 would give you a 10. So what I'm going to do, um, because I'm going to be multiplying the outside number by this now, because it's not a root, um, I'm going to show the multiplication on the left side. So um, I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 5 and that'll get me my 10 on the bottom. So this will be 5 times 3, which is 15. So this is 15 root 10 over 10. Okay. And then um, on this one, I need to multiply the top and the bottom by a 2. So 2 times 3 is 6. So that's 6 root 10 over 10. This one is really over 1 right now. So I'm going to have to multiply the top and the bottom by 10. And so I'm going to get uh, minus 30 
root 10 over 10. And now that we have common denominators and they all have um, root 10s, we know we can combine them all on the top and put them over 10. So um, 15 plus 6 is 21 root 10. 21 root 10 minus 30 root 10 is negative 9 root 10, and they're all over 10. And that's the final answer. We can't simplify it anymore. So now that we did that, we're going to go on to the next topic. So that was kind of um, a little bit of a review on that for you guys. Um, now we're going to be writing um, radical expressions to fractional exponents, and that way um, we can simplify them a little bit easier. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So here we have this expression, and this is actually example um, three in your book, but for the sake of this video, it's going to be example two. So we have a, um, a root inside of a root, which is very interesting. And so what they say is we begin by replacing both of the radicals with parentheses, brackets, and fractional exponents. And then you have to end up um, thinking about fractional exponents again to, um, to basically simplify these. So if you think about this, um, this is 3 to the 1 half. Uh, a square root means it's being raised to the 1 half. So you end up with 3 to the 1 half on the inside. That's this one right here. Okay. And then you also have this 3 out in front of it. So that's times 3. Okay. And then all of that is being raised to the 1 half. Okay, so um, then for this one, now we think about um, powers. If we use the power theorem, we can think about, okay, if you have a power raised to a power, you actually multiply the exponents. So a power, 3 to the positive 1, raised to the 1 half, that would be three time, uh, 3 to the 1 times 1 half. So that's 3 to the 1 half. And now here's a power to a power. Again, we multiply three. What's three to the one half times one half? What's one half times one half? It's one times one, and then two times two. So that's three to the one fourth. And then finally, these two are still being multiplied together. And so the last thing that you do is you think, okay, if I have a power times a, a power, not a power raised to a power like this one was. Remember um, what I think of when I, when I use these um, rules is mad spasm. If I have, if I'm multiplying two powers, I add the exponents. If I'm dividing, I subtract. And if I'm doing a power to a power, I multiply. Now we already did this one power to a power, we multiplied the exponents. Now we're multiplying two powers, so we have to add the exponents. So this is 3 to the 1 half plus 1 fourth. And if you were to get a common denominator, this would be um, 2 fourths plus 1 fourth, and that's 3 fourths. So this is the final answer right here. 3 to the 3 fourths. Let's do another one. This one's a little bit different, except now we have a little 3 out in front. That means the cube root. And then we still have the 3 and the root 3 under here. So this is just slightly different. It's going to be, we still have that 3 to the 1 half on the inside. We still have that 3 being multiplied by it, right? But it's all being raised not to the 1 half like this other one was. It's actually being raised to the 1 third, okay? 
uh, cubed root means you're raising it to the one third. And so um, on here, it's just slightly different. We just have to think um, that's the only number that's different, really. <laughs> so now we have to go back to our rules. A power raised to a power, we multiply the exponents. So power, and just think that's 3 to the first power, basically. A power raised to a power, so that's 3 to the 1 times 1 third. So that's 3 to the 1 third. And then um, this other one, 3 to the 1 half raised to the 1 third is 3 to the 1 sixth. Because 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 3 is 6. And then, um, again, we use this rule here. We're multiplying two powers, so we're going to add the exponents. So now this is going to be 3 to the 1 third plus 1 sixth. And if you were to get a common denominator here, that would be 2 sixths. 2 sixths plus 1 sixth is 3 sixths. And then that is reduced to 3 to the 1 half. And then uh, finally, if you really wanted to simplify that, uh, well, actually, that's, that's about as good as it gets. Um, you could rewrite it if you wanted to like this, um, square root of 3. Those are both fine. The book might leave it as 3 to the 1 half. OK, last one. So now um, we've got, again, just some more examples of this. They're going to get a little bit more tricky um, just because they're going to start with um, variables now. So now we have square root of x cubed, y squared, and then that's being multiplied by cubed root of x, y. So what you can do is if you write these with fractional exponents, you can create um, an expression where you have x to some power and y to some power. So again, uh, we're going to say this is, I'll go over here, x to the third, y squared, and remember the square root means it's raised to the one half. This one is x and y. It's being raised to the one third because this is the cube group. And now we think again, uh, since we're doing power to a power, we multiply the exponents. So this is x to the three times one half, or three over one times one over two, is three halves. This one, y squared to the 1 half, uh, that's y squared times 1 half. A half of 2 is 1. You could think of that as 2 over 2, which is 1. Um, this one, this is x to the 1 times 1 third, so that's 1 third, and y to the 1 third. And so now we've got all of these multiplied by each other. What you're going to do is, again, now that we're multiplying powers, we're going to add the exponents. And we're only going to add the ones that have the same base. So we're going to do x to the 3 halves plus 1 third, because those are both the ones with the x. And then we're going to do y to the 1 plus 1 third. And so um, when we simplify this, we get common denominators on this. So a common denominator for this would be 6. So um, if I multiply the top and the bottom of this by 3, I get 9 6. Multiply the top and the bottom of that by 3, or not 3, but um, 2. I get 2 6. And so this is 9 sixths plus 2 sixths. That's um, 11 sixths. So I'm done with the x one. For this one, um, if I multiply the top and the bottom of this by 3, I get y to the 3 thirds. And then this one's already got the 3 on the bottom. 
And then the very last thing is add those together, so that's y to the 4 thirds. And that is the final answer on that. So I hope this helps. Um, this should help you do all of the ones that are in there. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.